Hey there, my name is James, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how eSignatures works important. Now, to do this, I've got a really simple workflow, which is for an NDA or a non disclosure agreement. It takes a Google form response and then creates a document every time that form is responded to. To add a signature to this, we just open up the document, and on the right hand side, there's an add button to request the signature. We click this, and then some more options appear. The first one of those options is the place where you put the email address of the recipient who's going to sign the document first. In this example, I'm going to select the email address of somebody who's responded to the form. After I've done that, there are two options below to add placeholders for the signature. And the other one is to add a placeholder for the date that it was signed. If I scroll to the bottom of this document, I've got a space where I want to add these placeholders. To do so, I just click insert and a placeholder will be inserted at the end of your document. You can just cut this and then paste it where you want it to be inserted. And you just do the same for date. Then you can also see that this document needs to be signed by a second person, in this case, me. And to do so, I can add another recipient with this button here. When I click it, the same options as above appear, just with a different color. Now here, I can type my address this time. So every NDA that's signed also comes to me for counter signature. Now I just insert them in the same way I did before. And the main difference here is that you can see it's a different color, as I mentioned, but also there's a separate number. So we can request up to four signatures on one document. Then once you've done that, you can edit how the signatures are going to be requested. There's a button here to customize the signature request email, or you can go back into the workflow and you can customize the signature request here. Again, you can see the order that these signatures are going to be requested with the first email address and then the second email address. And then below that, we've got the subject line, and then the content of the email. I'm not gonna change anything here, but you can add whatever you like to this email. And then below this, you can see there's a green tick. This is to mark when all the documents have been signed. And then stages added after this are only sent after all documents have been signed. So I'm gonna to click to add an email to share the signed document with everybody. And then we have a fully functional signature workflow. Now, the final thing I want to do is show you what a signature request looks like on the respondent's end. So when the person responds to this form, this is an email that they're going to receive. And when they click on this blue button to get shown the document, they can download it if they want up here, and they can scroll down to the bottom and add a signature. So you've got three options. You can either draw it, type it, or upload a signature. In this example, I'm just going to draw it and insert it into the document and then click this last button up here to agree. And then what happens next is that document is sent on to the final person in the signature workflow. Once they sign it, a signed copy is sent to everybody as I showed you in that last email, and then it's saved in your Google Drive. And that's all there is to it. If you've got any questions, please give me a shout. Cheers.